Good evening everyone. Today is May 30. The time here in my end is uh, 10.45 in the evening. Good morning to you because we have time difference in Africa. Just a moment. I'm going to have a look in Africa. Okay, just bear with me. In Conakry is 12.45 in the, in the morning. In Dubai is 4.45 in the afternoon. In Bamako, Mali is 12.45 in the afternoon. In Freetown, 12.45. San Francisco, 5.45 in the morning. Okay, in Doha, 3.45 in the afternoon. In London, 1.45 in the afternoon. Istanbul, 3.45 in the afternoon. In Brisbane, is uh, almost 11 in New York is 8 45 in the morning so this is what I'm in a Ford here this is my uh, online virtual office I am your business facilitator at the same time I am the sellers marketing consultant on Monday now <clears throat> let's talk about the price of gold today the price of gold it fluctuates this morning the price was 62.382.69 then middle of the evening 62.8254.95 now it's already 63 thousand dollars 60.17 per kilo now whatever the price of the world market use your ball pen and paper and, and brain less eight percent so you figure out that is the selling price lbma less eight mm percent -hmm. you're gonna say too expensive no it's not expensive you're buying precious mineral you're buying the old asset so therefore there is a price mm -hmm. now you've been searching for gold and you found wilhelmina i will explain to you how this buyer encounter disaster right now mm -hmm. i just finished uh, having a conference with the buyer already in sierra leone the buyer already in mali the buyer well, already in ghana and the buyer is in kampala etc mm -hmm. so when the buyer is already on the ground i cannot help you why you've been window shopping and then suddenly you search on youtube channel and you search on facebook you found this lady this lady is very strict and very tough okay and this lady would not tolerate your greediness why you're asking for cheap price why are you asking cheap price you're already on you're already on the ground so therefore the seller didn't deal with you the seller turned you down so what's what is the point of traveling i thought you already know the seller why the seller turned you down because the seller and you you didn't get along with right so that is the reason why mm -hmm. so now let's talk about this buyer that i had interviewed today tonight mm -hmm. the buyer already in Sierra Leone <clears throat> he's Indian and uh, he said that he has a contact the department of mines his friend and he flew to Sierra Leone because he wanted to buy a trial 50 grams mm -hmm. so I was listening to this gentleman he has an company he uh, he told me because i interviewed him on, on whatsapp and then suddenly i, I asked him let us talk on both him so we have a video call and i was listening to his frustration and i told him you've been talking a lot of people so why your local people cannot help you and why you come to Wilhelmina? and he said that uh, he doesn't trust anybody well you're dealing with local people why you trust them mm -hmm. 
So he's stuck in Sierra Leone. And I told him that we don't sell 50 grams because the dust gold has been collected from the mines and they brought that in the city to smelt it into bar. Ready for export. One bar is $1,000, 1,000 kilograms, right? 1,000 kilograms in one bar. So the price I was selling is $57,000 per kilo. Mm -hmm. So he said too expensive. Well, you're buying expensive item. So what do you expect? Mm -hmm. So he wanted to have a trial to bring it to Dubai. And I told him, it wouldn't work. You are just wasting your time. It's better you travel to to the mines and buy grams and then you smelt it and then you bring it to Dubai what a waste of time I told him yeah you're just wasting your time you you flew to uh, Sierra Leone and you stayed in the hotel or you every day it cost money mm -hmm. so I turned him down because I told him that we have gold but we don't sell 50 grams we sell minimum at least at least 10 kilos he doesn't have the money to to pay he doesn't have half a million dollars he doesn't have eight hundred thousand dollars he can only afford to pay 50 grams mm -hmm. as a trial he's going to show it to his end buyer in dubai mm -hmm. so he's window shopping and he saw me on my youtube and on facebook he go through on my facebook then he added me on whatsapp now mr buyer you have an internet, right? You have a phone, you have a Wi-Fi, you have a laptop. When you search supply of gold and diamond, I'm the only person who put my face. And you know my name. You should not send a message, say hi. Because to me, that is big no-no. Mm -hmm. You're a businessman. You should introduce yourself. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, this gentleman, this Indian, he sent me a message. He added me on on WhatsApp because all of my contacts are everywhere. I'm not hiding myself. Uh, this buyer is hiding their faces. They don't like to show their face in camera. Uh, you wouldn't uh, you wouldn't prosper if you hide your face, right? So I called him on board him, and I told him I want to see you open your camera. He's a young man. I think he's a middle. 30s or 40s mm -hmm. so I interviewed him middle of my interview he has a difficulty in cash flow mm -hmm. he can only afford to to pay 50 grams he's going to bring that to his buyer to show that there is a gold he didn't I told him I cannot help you mm -hmm. you're already on the ground and we don't entertain buyers already on the ground without invitation and he said why the reason why when we bring the when i interview the buyer when i bring the buyer to the office meaning to say that buyer is certain a real buyer not a window shopper mm -hmm. because when the buyer come to me before the buyer travel i have to ask the buyer his business registration a copy importation license passport copy and the proof of fund without that i wouldn't believe it you already you already win the shop and you know that uh, that uh, gold is not for free you know that mm -hmm. and i asked him how did you found wilhelmina he said that he did search on on my youtube and he th go through on my facebook and i told him did you really read it properly and he said not really well that's the reason why uh -huh. now i interviewed you so what can i do for you he's an indian and he said that uh, i he need my help and i told him what kind of help uh -huh. you're already on the ground why not just walk into the department of mines and ask the list of the exporter you have a friend on the department of mines you don't need to talk to Wilhelmina. i have my seller who produce gold but he wouldn't sell 50 grams yeah gold is already in the office yeah we have uh, 50 kilograms available right now 
but that 50 kilograms, 50 kilos, cannot wait for everyone because the cell, my head office, has an existing buyers. Buyer come and go. Even in Mali, we have tons of gold. Buyer come and go. Yeah. Even in Conakry, my seller have uh, 800 kilos. The buyer come and go. So my seller own the mines. He mines it. He smelt the dust gold into bar and then bring it to the city ready for export. Right. Well, Amina is the seller's extension. Wilhelmina is the seller marketing consultant. The seller hired Wilhelmina to handle sales and marketing on their behalf and based in Brisbane, Australia. I only travel with the buyer when the buyer is really certain buyer. When the buyer meet the criteria. The criteria is very simple. The procedure, the FCO, is already in front of you. Impossible, you wouldn't understand. Impossible. The taxes is already on on this platform. Click below subscribe. I don't need to explain anymore because you are a smart buyer, right? You win the shop, you fly to you fly to Mali, you fly to Sierra Leone, you fly to Ghana, you fly to Conakry, you fly to Kampala, you didn't get the gold, and then you come to Wilhelmina, then you're gonna say, Wilhelmina. I am a buyer. Are you really sure you're a buyer? How come you cannot get the gold? He was window shopping and the lady as well from Senegal, she was window shopping together with her, together with her broker. Failure. But anyway, I think that's all I can explain to you, Mr. Buyer. Mr. Buyer, please, when you want to talk to Wilhelmina, please do not say hi. You already know who am I, and I don't know you, right? Just say hi, Wilhelmina. I watch your video, and also I went through your Facebook platform. I am Mr. So and So. I am from Dubai or from Senegal or from or uh, Turkey or from Singapore. I hereby submit that we are the buyer, Wilhelmina. Okay, you are a buyer. Send me a copy of your business registration. I want to see it. Show me your importation license. I want to see it. Send me a copy of your passport. I want to see it. And the proof of fund your bank statement. I want to see it that you have available fund in your bank account is standby. Why I ask you that? You already read the full corporate offer, right? It says here, right? It says here. Mm -hmm. Just bear with me, I'm going to throw. It says here, I'm reading the full corporate offer that I put on my platform. It says here, the gold is coming from Mali, Conakry, and Sierra Leone. The form is a gold bar. The bar purity is from 95, 97. Okay? From. So use your brain. A quantity, it depends on how many quantity you want. In Mali, we have tons of gold. In Conakry, we have 800 kilos. In Sierra Leone, we have uh, available stock and diamond. Now, available quality, av available quality, which is 22.54, which is 23 carats. Right. And you're going to say, well, I mean, what is the price? I already mentioned it on my YouTube channel and on Facebook. You just pay attention and relax and take it easy read properly then you come back to Wilhelmina then you're gonna see Wilhelmina what is the price the price I already mentioned it whatever the price of the world market use your pen and calculator list eight per day eight percent equals that is the selling price right now you're gonna see how much is the tax it depends on which one you like to buy you want to go to Mali seven percent you want to go to Sierra Leone 6.5 percent if you want to go to uh, 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 Conakry, 6.5%. Now, our selling price is tax included. Mm -hmm. Okay? So, you're going to say, oh, I want to buy gold. No affront. There is no affront. You have to pay for it. You have to place your order on your company letterhead as a letter of interest to purchase. Carrots, the purity. Where are you coming from? Where they're going to be shipped? Right, the mode of payment, your banking details. 
right then we will respond to you because i'm the one who will evaluate you i'm the one then when i look at your credential then i will advise my head office let us proceed i validated the buyer then you will receive the letter of confirmation we will send you the seller's mining license we'll send you the seller skr if you want to buy gold in mali there is an skr it's already ready at the security company but i will not release the skr because this is tons of gold and we have to be careful dealing with any buyer because there's a lot of criminal buyers there's a lot pretending to be a buyer at the end of the day they are a hold up right so if you want to go to Sierra Leone, yes, we have the gold. So now, Mr. Buyer, I already explained to you here the full corporate offer I want you to, to read properly. Now, in business, there are three things. Knowledge. The knowledge is already in front of you. Understanding. You need to read the full corporate offer, whether you understand or not. Wisdom. It's already here. The price. It's up for you to comprehend. Knowledge is worth a million dollars. The picture paint a thousand words. If you go on my platform on Facebook, every picture I put the message so that you will really understand thoroughly. If you don't have the cash, Mr. Buyer asking no upfront, to me you are not a buyer. You're not. You're a joker. <laughs> you're deceiving yourself. And then you're going to say, oh, I don't trust Africa because Africa is full of scam. Yes, correct. You're one of the scammers. Don't you know the meaning of scam? You deceive yourself because you're looking for cheap price. You deceive yourself because you're asking no upfront fee. There is no upfront fee. You have to pay for it, whether you like it or not. If you cannot afford, then your business would not function. Yes? And the seller can offer you cheap price. The seller will deceive you. He would not tell you, what necessary requirements that you are going to get now you visit on my youtube channel you search it you already gain knowledge from wellamina worth a million dollars this is what you guys are doing you're window shopping comparing prices to prices and suddenly you travel and what happened you travel just like this buyer in in sierra leone and in mali just like this buyer they search on on youtube and they search on facebook they found my platform very thorough my platform is very unique impossible you wouldn't understand you're always rushing 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 you don't need to rush if you are a buyer you need to read the information is the most important knowledge you need to comprehend that you're not comprehending you just rush 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 and then you come for conference on whatsapp and then you say hi my name is not hi my name is Wilhelmina Ford, right? This is my virtual office, but you're hiding your faces. But this Indian, I call him on Botim. He's a, he's a good guy. I think he's middle of 30s or late 30s. Mm -hmm. Because I asked him to open his camera on Botim. Mm -hmm. So Mr. Bayo, I think I already explained to you, we don't deal Bayo already on the ground. We prepare to deal buyer with invitation that you are a valued customer. To me, you are not valued customer at the moment because you are already on the ground. You are not. You are just window shopping, comparing prices, and you already encounter disaster on the ground. Just like this husband and wife, they, uh, she said that uh, they were being scam. No, you were not being scam. According to the seller that I know, that you are asking cheap price. You pay taxes and the gold didn't arrive. Mm -hmm. And this the buyer from Sierra Leone. Right now I advise him, a sisterly advice. I told him, be careful when you stop over in Ghana because one of your fellow Indian, his gold was stuck in the airport and he spent more than $20,000. He hand carried the gold. And I told this Indian that I uh, interviewed him few hours ago or few seconds ago I told him you better ship it then you insure the gold don't leave Sierra Leone unless the gold arrived to your destination 
because in case there is an issue you're still there in Sierra Leone you can still follow up and I told this Indian I should not tell you that because that is my secret but I uh, advise him sisterly advice and he said thank you very much and he said he will call me back I said you don't need to call me back because you're not you're, you're not qualified anymore because you're already on the ground and you, you can only afford to buy 50 grams we don't sell 50 grams at least I advise you sisterly advice so that is how now I'm going to check the, the price of gold at that moment because the price of gold changes every every half an hour just bear with me okay before I'm going to close my live video Mm -hmm. now the price is down a little bit a while ago 63 now it's 60 62 847.99 take advantage because every min every half an hour the price change the price it fluctuate and our selling price is fixed whatever the world market price less eight percent now mr buyer i can help you if you can afford mm -hmm. instead of getting less eight percent I might consider to give you ten or eleven percent why because I'm going to accompany you and I'm going to charge my services that services it covers my my ticket my hotel accommodation and spending money to be with you on the ground because sellers are very hard to deal with just imagine now I finished interviewing the Indian. He has a contract. He has a contract with the, at the Department of Mines. Failed. And I told him that the Department of Mines, the, your friend, is working at the Department of Mines. He doesn't own the gold. Right? He just worked there to issue the export documentation. You need to deal with the owner of the gold because the owner of the gold will not give his gold for nothing you have to pay for it right you have to taste the gold at the department of mines and then you pay then you pay bank to bank but he doesn't have the money why he can only afford to pay 50 grams mm -hmm. so he's going to he's going to fail and i told him if you have the money just go there just go to the village and buy grams mm -hmm. then he smelt it send it to Dubai and then show it to your end buyer then you increase your order and I told him I cannot help you this is what I told him so I think uh, I already uh, mentioned on every video now let's talk about Cameron uh, last night there was a lady who called me from the department of mines she's a pretty lady and she's an engineer and she works at the department of mines and she saw my platform on Facebook. She was impressed and they need my services. They need my help. And you know what this lady? She's an engineer. So, Madam, thank you very much for promoting Africa. Yes, we have a very difficult dealing with buyers because buyers is asking cheap price. And I told this lady, don't give your gold cheap price because there is a value and there is a value the added tax when i asked the lady from this is from cameron and i told this lady three years ago i did call your department to make sure how much is the tax 17 percent this year they reduced to 15 percent and most of the seller in cameron are deceiving the world as well I told this engineer she works at the mines of the department of mines mm -hmm. so they need my expertise and I told her you don't need Wilhelmina just watch my video you might learn out of that and implement that into your department that you are going to tell the buyer that your tax is 15% this year and don't deceive any buyer and this lady was laughing and you know what she said madam i'm very pleased that you really provide vital information and i told this lady 
information is worth a million dollars i already giving away my knowledge that is my secret that you know when you when you go to the restaurant right the food is nice the chef would not give his uh, recipe i have my recipe i've been in marketing for 36 years buying and selling exactly you have to pay for it i used to be in real estate i was the one who introduced this seller have no idea they just say oh this is my price but believe me you pay the gold and he will turn his phone then go back to the village but if i'm with the buyer believe me i can assure you you will get the gold but you have to pay my services you're gonna say well amina how much is your services twenty thousand dollars take it or leave it non-refundable instead of getting eight percent i will give you 10 to 11 percent why i will negotiate on your behalf at the end of the day you owe me a favor i don't owe you nothing yes because i'm going to guide you why when you're happy with my services you come back to Wilhelmina, Wilhelmina, I'm going to reorder. So when you send me a letter of interest, the procedure is in front of you. Follow that. Then you come back and send me a letter of interest to purchase coming from you, Mr. Buyer, not coming from the Joker broker, cut and paste, because I would not entertain. I wouldn't. I prepare to deal directly to the buyer, not the chain of Joker broker. Mm -hmm. Now you're going to say, Oh, Africa has a lot of scammer. Correct. You're one of the scammer. Don't you know what is the meaning of scam? You're deceiving yourself. You're asking cheap price. Mm -hmm. You travel to Mali, Kodakri, Sierra Leone, Ghana, Kampala, Nairobi in order to get the price, cheap price. You deceive yourself. The seller who offer you, he's also deceiving you. Both of you are scammer. Yeah. The word scammer is a new version. The old version is deceive you lied to yourself the seller is also lying because he wanted to sell to you cheap price at the end of the day it's not cheap price look at this lady she knows me mm -hmm. she was talking to me last year husband and wife and i explained to her they were being offered they flew to Conakry this year they didn't get the gold and uh, they were talking to the seller which i know Mm -hmm. because i have three sellers in in conakry right and then there's another senegalese she was talking to me and also her bro her broker they went to mali they didn't get the gold and suddenly they come back to me they were begging me i don't beg to anyone you don't need to become a bigger you have the money right why are you begging you just pay the right price so that you will not be stuck be stuck in mali now this Indian is stuck in Sierra Leone right now. Mm. You don't need to big because I don't big. I don't big to anyone. Why should I big? This is worth a million dollars you're bigging. You have to pay the right price so that you will get the gold because in every country there is a valued added tax. That is an income of the country. But you don't understand. Yeah. You don't understand, you don't comprehend. No matter how I explain on my video, every video, I just come to update. Today is May 30. In an hour, we are now 11.30 in the evening here in Australia. In few minutes, and 30 minutes, would be 12 o'clock in the morning, could be May 31st. Now, there is a and uh, prediction even though the price is fluctuate middle of this year the price will turn to 2500 per ounce and end of 2023 could be three thousand dollars per kilo now you wouldn't be able to afford if you're a small trader bank now talk to wilhelmina because wilhelmina would assist you but the question is can you afford to pay the products? Can you afford to pay Wilhelmina services? Instead of paying $20,000, I will negotiate to my seller to give you 10 or Ill, or even 12%. At the end of the day, you gain knowledge. But the 12% would not be given to you unless I'm satisfied. 
unless you can afford to pay my travel cost to assist you if you cannot afford just pay eight percent i will arrange the contract you order but if there is a problem don't come back to Wilhelmina. and please i don't want to deal with a chain of broker blockchain of broker asking me to sign an nda no you better find another job i prepare to deal directly to the buyer and if you're brokering brokering and then asking commission we don't pay double commission instead we give the buyer a very good deal because we want the buyer to come back with us and if you're brokering brokering you charge your buyer tell your buyer mr buyer i'm going to search on your behalf because buyers are clever buyers are liars you must remember i used to be in real estate i can sense that buyers are liars why they wouldn't tell the truth they are window shopping mm -hmm. window shopping believe me i know when you come to wilhelmina for conference i am studying your language the conversation i can easily determine whether you are telling the truth or not wilhelmina is here to tell the truth nothing but the truth if you want then you can get the gold if not thank you very much and i wish you good luck please i cannot help you if you're already on the ground i cannot our selling price less eight percent if Philomena accompany you be thankful i can assure you you will get the supply start a trial 10 kilos don't be involved in big quantity when you get the 10 kilos when you're satisfied yes you come back to Wilhelmina. Wilhelmina, i need another 50 kilos yes always talk to Wilhelmina. always do not go behind my back one buyer she go behind my back what happened tralala but she got the gold mm -hmm. but on the second shipment she didn't because she wanted to get my seller to be a broker what happened failure mm -hmm. so please if you are really big honest buyer deal with Wilhelmina. i can assist you until one year in order for you to do the business running smoothly don't be greedy mr buyer because if you are greedy the seller is also greedy both of you would encounter tralala believe me I've been to Africa many times. I can even study the behavior of my seller. When you know, Mr. Buyer, if you're gonna be with Wilhelmina on uh, face to face, I can detect whether you're lying or not. Why? If you cannot look at me Bible to eyeball, meaning to say you are not telling the truth. Because to me, when I talk to anyone, I talk directly eyeball to eyeball. This is how business psychology is all about. Thank you very much. Have a pleasant, pleasant good morning. Now, good morning to you. And here on my end, it's still good evening, 11, 18. In how many minutes? Maybe 35 or 40 minutes would be midnight. I close seven days a week until one o'clock because we have a time difference. Mr. Buyer, don't be afraid with Wilhelmina. And if you're on the ground, I cannot help you. And I wish you good luck. At least you communicated with Wilhelmina a few hours ago. Thank you very much. Have a pleasant and good morning or good afternoon to you guys. And I wish you good luck. I'm here to assist you. All right. Ciao. Sayonara. Hasta la vista, amigo. Mm -hmm.